Hi Kesav, welcome back to the podcast guys. Kesav has something which he wanted to get clarified on which is the Indian economy. He had some doubts. Yes sir. So we will try and help Kesav out with his doubts. Sir, uh, we talk more about companies. Mm. In every video, we are talking about uh, investing in the companies. Mm. But uh, in such videos of Anand sir, Anand sir told that uh, it's better mm. to invest in a parent company. Hmm. He always says that. Hmm. Uh, if we take HUL, sir, hmm. it's a Hindustan Unilever. Hindustan Unilever. It's a British parent company. company is in UK. Yes. So they are making profits more than hmm. the company making profits in India. Hmm. So the it's like you. You get salary, no? Ah. What do you do with your salary? You give it to your mummy. Yes, sir. You give a little for yourself. Ah, correct. Then you give all your salary to your mummy. Ma- yes, sir. Rupesh does the same thing. All the salary will go to his mother. He keeps a little in his pocket for himself. Rest goes. That's Hindustan level in India for you. <laughs> yes, sir. But uh, what I'm thinking is, if our country cut down the taxes, corporate taxes, mm-hmm. they can make so much uh, companies. Wait, wait, if they grow. cut down corporate taxes, mm. what is your logic? You think they'll pay better dividends, Hindustan level? Sir, uh, I'm not thinking to pay better dividends. I Why think would that more companies will flourish in as a parent company in India because nobody is trying. Oh, to... okay. Your argument is ah. Hindustan level is doing well. Hmm. Because it's got the support of the parent company sitting in the UK. Yes, sir. All the, the Indian companies which are not based outside India, who are Indian based, purely Indian based, ah. are not doing as well as Hindustan Lever because they don't have a rich daddy sitting outside helping them out. Yes, sir. The Indian government is taking too much money off their table. Yes, sir. Or also, oh, sorry, down the, right? yes, sir. Ah, corporate okay. taxes. Hmm. In India, it's around 25.17%, sir. Corporate taxes. Hmm. In Malaysia, it's 3%. In Dubai, hmm. it's nothing. Hmm. Singapore, it's 17 percentage. So, you know, you're talking like a true businessman now. Okay. Sir. Because you did not take the salary man's tax in each country. Oh. See how much Indian uh, salary tax slabs are. Okay. You will have people who are getting jobs or working in IT sector, like your brother and all that, will be oh. ready to throw shoes at you and they see you on the road. <laughs> you're here sitting here <laughs> professing that Indian companies are paying too much tax. We should reduce their tax. Poor companies. Sir, no, sir. I <laughs> well, more companies. corporate people like your brother and all that are almost paying 30. 40, 50 percent tax. No, sir. I thought. You see, how they salary going away as tax. So, no, sir. What I thought is, if we if we cut down the tax, no, no, no more companies will flourish no. in our uh, country. No. So, so many of us will yes, get jobs. Yes, tax. Yes, but that's not the reason why Indian companies don't do well. Okay. You got to realize something. Mm. Every single Indian company is paying the same tax. So, it's a level playing field. Mm-hmm. So, if your company is not doing well, you can say that is an advantage if one certain company. Mm. A certain sector, if you're a foreign company, your tax is much lower than an Indian company. You say that discrimination is there, then I agree. Then there's, you know, there's a, not a level playing field. Mm-hmm. As far as taxation is concerned, it's all level playing field. Pretty much level playing field as, at our level. Mm-hmm. So if you look at it like that, the reason why an Indian company is failing to do well is, is because of business practices. Like Paytm yesterday, we were, I was talking about Paytm. The business proposition of Paytm is not there. What are they doing? Yes. UPI came and removed everything. Before UPI, they had some very lucrative business ah. proposition. UPI came government and everybody now has UPI. Everybody has one Paytm app. Okay, so and they're selling now. Paytm is trying to sell everything: insurance, broker, yes, sir. car loan, whatever you want. He's basically saying anything you want, you come to me. I'm mm-hmm. not a bank. Uh uh-huh. I'm but not a bank, want, but everything else related to money, uh-huh. I'll do for you. Yes, sir. Public don't want because you see the app. At your generation, I'm talking about. Mm. Okay, he's targeting people like you, your generation. You look at that app and you're not very happy using that app. You think it's one stupid app. Yes, sir. So many the way times. the way when you open it, the way nothing looks clear, mm. nothing looks intuitive. It's all over the place, and they're trying to push all kinds of products on you. Yes, sir. By the time you figure out what is it that you logged in to do, you know you're fed up. Ah, you don't even remember why we came. Yeah, okay, yeah, ah, and you, yes, you get irritated. And now after this latest uh, slap on the hand from RBI, things are even tougher for them. Mm-hmm. So that is why it's not because we are taxing them too much, sir. And uh, I want to why I took this topic is there's a term called royalty, sir. Mm. So many of us don't know about the thing called royalty. Mm. Why they can have a doubt like why parenting companies having uh, no royalty products. is. For the idea. Mm. Let's say I come out with an idea to make a product. Mm. Then I sell that idea to everybody, but everybody can do it and they pay me a commission for using my idea. Ah, yes, sir. You get it? Mm. That is what yes, royalty is. And that is very fair. No, if I come out with an idea of doing something mm. and it's very innovative and saves a lot of money, mm. I wanted that idea to enter instead of looking for an investor and building a factory and doing that. If somebody already has a factory, mm. I can give it to him, still make my money, mm. and the public. Gets to use a product sooner. So, every way is a win win situation. 
and I don't have to do any capital investment. So that way, if you look at it, mm. it's a win-win situation. And all loyalties are not equal. Okay. Uh, like certain royalties have a expiring date. So some last for 15 years, mm. some last for 100 years. So it depends. Like Mickey Mouse has come to public domain recently. So original Mickey Mouse, which was created by Walt Disney. Walt Disney, yeah. Now Walt Disney does not own it anymore. Okay. So you can take it and do whatever you want with it. You don't have to pay any commission for royalty for using it. For using it. Yeah. So like that, there are things. But in terms of Hindustan lever, it mm. is just not royalty. Mm. It is owned by them. Okay. okay. So, so they could have actually held that company in their own hand. They did IPO in India and they allowed us to participate in it. But is it a value proposition? Yes, Anand is correct saying there's no value proposition because all of my profit makes. It's going to the Yeah, parent mm-hmm. company eats all the sweets. We are only holding the box and sitting here. Mm-hmm. For that, you might as well know that before we didn't have an option of buying the Unilever in UK. Mm. Now we have ways and means of buying the UK parent companies. Yes, sir. Of course, it's not easy as one, two, three. Mm. Yeah, we like we have, yes, we have spoken about that. Mm. How to go about buying in the UK. This one process is there, the rules, and you have to have a minimum investment of such a plan. But the main people who are looking at it also are new generation who are working in IT companies, who are working in a cognizant, working in a TCS, who are going abroad. Mm. When they go abroad, they can buy it. Yeah, the, the salary brackets are such that they can afford to do this. It is not targeting people like you and me sitting here in Chennai in two streets, drinking chai every day, making two rupees. Okay. We can look at it and shake our heads. Okay. But, like I said, mm. you don't have to feel bad. Okay. There are different ways to becoming wealthy. This is one way. Mm-hmm. There are other ways like what Anand spoke about, you know, collect gold, mm. two, two grams, micrograms, yes, you buy gold mm. in ETF, consolidate, then buy one insurance, mm. then slowly sip. Sipping, we have done so many videos on this. Yes, sir. It's a very simple thing. Mm. Even like an auto wala, you can take 500 rupees a month. Every month. Yeah. Uh-huh. One of his weekend parties, he sacrifices and puts 500 rupees. Within no time, he'll have, uh, you know, 25 lakhs, 50 lakhs for his daughter's son's future. He can save up. Even when he's 20 now and he's retiring at 65, he doesn't have to drive, drive an auto anymore. He yes, can own, own a fleet of autos for himself. So it is just that when you see, oh, some article, someone saying, that guy's made 25% ah. within six months. You know, immediately you're like, oh, I'm missing out on something. How we that is your yeah, human mind. Better to work with your mind than trying to figure out how to become like that guy. Yes, sir. I also saw these things yeah. and I yeah. got so, such, so much. Yeah. So, things all the people about. who are employees, you know, employed will be very upset with you. Next video. They'll be like, hey, <laughs> how dare you? They'll come on Instagram. I'm sorry. I just did the first part of the video. Yeah, your brother, I sorry. think you should sit down with your brother and ask him. <laughs> no, sir. Brother, tell me how much goes up on your Saturday. <laughs> then you'll be shocked. No, sir. And then you had our finance minister say, telling everybody in the parliament, thank you, all of you <laughs> who is being taxes. You, we have gone up by so many percentage people paying taxes. We thank you for paying taxes. And we want to let you know we have spent your money well. That we do not know. Where the money was spent, we do not know. But she has assured us mm. it was spent well. Well, anyway, that's interesting news, I guess. Yes, sir. So. Still, we didn't talk about the four major issues, sir, that we talk in another video, sir. That. We'll catch up on it. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching the podcast, guys. And we'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. Bye.